Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am in a new place right now and that is because I'm currently up in Nottingham working at the BGS which is the British Geological Survey. Now I am filming what I'm doing there as I'm looking at some amazing borehole samples of the Jurassic into the Triassic and I'm uh, breaking it up and doing all the sampling for it to look for ammonites which is really cool. So that will come out in a few weeks but I do apologize if the sound is a bit iffy. It is extremely windy today so I'm outside and I'm going to be prepping some ammonites for you. Now I didn't find these ones, I've been entrusted by Kevin to prep one of his very special ammonites. Now I have two to show you and what I love about these is that I have a male and female pair. Here is the female and then here, here is the male. <laughs> it is this tiny little guy here. So. In ammonites, the males were a lot smaller than the females, and that's just one of my favorite facts about ammonites. I love it. Now, these are of the species Cardioceros scarbigensi. Now, it's quite a mouthful to say that one. I have a note down here to remember it. Um, and I'm going to be attempting to prep the center of this bigger female here. So you can see the center is currently covered, but this is a very special ammonite. If you look closely, something else is also going on. So we have these two puncture marks here. And if you look around the puncture mark, it also has the fracturing as if two teeth broke through this shell. So something bit this ammonite before it died or after it died, but it didn't crush the shell. So write down below any suggestions you might have. And next week, I'm gonna look at different types of teeth that were around in different creatures at the time and we can see which one potentially bit our ammonite over here. But we're going to be prepping it today. That's the purpose of this video. I'm just chatting a lot. So I'm going to be prepping using my Dremel. So I've just got the chisel nib on it at the moment and I get this from Paleozoic Tech. Um, no, Paleozoic Tools. I don't know why I always get that wrong, but I'll link their shop down below. If you need anything to do with prepping fossils, they're brilliant for pretty much everything you need. So I do really recommend them and it's a lovely team that works behind them. But um, yeah, let's get prepping. So I'm going to move this one out of the way as this has already been prepped so you can see it's had some paraloid and glued back together because it is a very delicate rock that it's in um, but it looks fabulous like that so that doesn't need any prep so we're just going to be prepping our lovely female over here so I'm just gonna lay this down <laughs> I think I sing it again, she had no second try, 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 try,
to this one so you can see where the shell finishes here in one of the inner worlds so if I hold it up so this is what it looks like so it's prepped up very nicely and you can see the end of the shell just about there so you can see that the rest of the matrix drops down a bit so I was just checking that it wasn't crushed or displaced but um, that's the finished product so I think this one may be with you know a nice bit of paraloid or varnish on it just to bring out the shell color a bit more because if you look closely there's lovely suture lines that are preserved and this is just amazing with these teeth mark and there's even a fossil within one of the punctures so let me know what you guys think happened to this ammonite before it became a fossil but this is what it looks like so you can get the whole look so I haven't prepped the other side I've kept that one as it was and I just gave this a bit of a clean up so that's the finished product but I just thought you guys would enjoy um, watching me prep this one so that's all I've got for you today but um, I hope you're all doing well I'll link my Instagram down below and my other socials if you'd like to follow me on there but look after yourselves and hopefully I'll see you next week thanks for watching <laughs>